so what I'll do is I'm going to select these two and I'm going to combine those two by going to mesh combine that's going to make it into one object as you can see select selected I have one object and something else that does is it freezes transformations for my object I'm also going to modify a uh, center pivot so that my uh, manipulator is in the center of the object. I'm also going to, uh, it's a good pra practice to delete your history. So you can see my history is right here, but sometimes that uh, piles up. So if you want to do that, you can go to edit. And I like to delete all by type and history. As you can see, the history disappears. So if you see that your my uh, uh, software is slow or something, you can delete that history. Okay, let's go ahead and make the high polygon model. So I want to keep this, uh, I want to preserve my low polygon. So I'm going to just duplicate it, again control D, I'm going to drag that to the side. And this one's going to be my low poly and this is going to be my, my high poly. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use, let's use the, uh, go to edit mesh and insert edge loop tool, so that we can insert uh, an edge loop. So I'm going to put one, make sure you click on the edge, so that you can see it, and when you hold down left click, uh, you can uh, choose where you want the edge loop to be at. I want it right here, and click again, and one right here. Just so I can get this uh, guys here. Okay. I'll press Q to go back to uh, to move tool. Okay. Now let's go to face mode and double click uh, the uh, body of the of the trash can here. Make sure all the faces are selected, just for the uh, body of it, not not the lid. Let's go to edit mesh and I'm going to add divisions. Okay. And I I just wanted to add more divisions so that I can extrude this uh, indent uh, looking thing there. So I'm going to select that face. I get uh, to select more than one face by the way. Uh, click on one face and then hold down shift and then click another face. And if you keep it pressed you can continue to select more faces so I just want to select uh, every other face okay and you can technically add, add more divisions if you want uh, less spacing here I'll just keep it this way for now so just click any every other face And also this is why I kept it at the initial cylinder at 20, so that when I divided it, I will have 40 divisions here, which I could do this with. And I uh, have this in the high poly one, not the low poly. Okay, so now I'm going, now that I selected every other face, I'm going to extrude. Go to edit mesh and extrude. Make sure that keep faces together that is enabled, okay? Just in case you disable that, uh, just make sure that's selected. So let's go to extrude. And this time, I'm going to use the uh, extrude manipulator here, which in this case is the blue arrow. Okay, use the blue one. Don't use the other ones. And I'm going to move that one in just a little bit. I think that should be enough. Maybe just a tiny bit more. I'll keep it like that. And I may want to scale this just a little bit. So if you click on the one of the cubes here and then use the one in the middle, and scale that just slightly, not much. I'm actually going to press R this time. 
use the green one just a little bit. Okay, that should be fine. So as you can see, we got that now. Okay. Uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to press 3 so I can go to my uh, what's known as the subdivision approximation approximation uh, mode and it does this uh, which kind of rounds up the object but we wanted to go back to uh, some of the hard edges that we had which is why we're going to add some edge loops we could also try to use uh, the, bevel, the bevel tool but in this case I'm just going to do it this way. So let's go to Edit Mesh and Insert Edge Loop Tool. And as you can see, since we are in the subdivision mode, uh, it shows the cage for the low, for the uh, original mode, I guess. Then now we're going to drag an edge loop as close as possible to the bottom so that it can go back there. Okay, one in the bottom here as well, just so that we can get that kind of hard edge back. Let's do it for the top as well. Go to press G so I can use my edge loop tool again. Okay, let me put another one. Probably even here, I'll put another one just in case. Okay. So, this is what your model should look like right now. Okay. And I'm also going to, going to press G again. Put one dry here. Let's see what that looks like. Yep. And one at the bottom. Now we kind of have that indent type of thing here. Put on that tube right here. And I'll put one right here as well. And one here. One right here. Okay. Let me try to get an edge loop in the middle here, Let's see if that works. Oops. I don't think it's going to work that well. So you can try that as well, put an edge loop that goes in between these, these guys. If you want a harder uh, indent there. In this case, I'm just going to leave it the way it was. Now I'm going to use an extrusion here. I'm going to select these faces. And double click here. Just make sure you have a loop here where you can select faces. Go to Edit Match and Extrude. And use the blue handle to go in. Go back to 1 so I can see this better. Okay. Right there. I'll press R. Scale it just a little bit. Okay. I'm going to press three to go back. See what it looks like. And I can add an edge loop here. If you put putting edge loops close to another edge loop is going to make make it a harder edge. As you can see here, I put two really close to each other. Made that kind of hard edge there. So you can experiment with that, adding a few of these. Uh. So let's put another one here somewhere. I'll add a few more edge loops. One right here and right here. Uh, something I didn't mention is to select the whole face loop, select the face and 
hold down shift and then double click the face next to it that selects the whole face loop and you can do the same with this one let's go to edit mesh and extrude use the blue handle again every time you extrude use that blue handle here okay now I'm going to press 3 go to edit mesh search loop again and just add an edge loop close to the other one press Q to go back and we have something like that I kinda want to get another one here to press 1 to go back into edge loop 2 select that face loop go to edit mesh and extrude use the blue handle press 3 and now go to edit mesh insert edge loop and put an edge loop close to the other edge so you can get a hard edge and there we go okay so we have the body done here and now we have to uh, do almost the exact same thing with the lid uh, make sure you add an edge loop close to the edge here okay I'll add another one one at the top okay probably want to add something to the to the top of the lid as well I'll press 1 I'll add an edge loop right here and one right here select that face loop go to edit mesh and extrude again I'm going to use the blue arrow this time and just, I'll bring this one out this time just a little bit and I'm going to press R to scale that and scale that just a bit like that press 3 and now I'm going to add those edge loops so that I can get a hard edge See what that looks okay. I'll press one so I can go back to my first view here. I'm going to insert a edge loop again, and not right here. And again, don't be uh, too concerned that yours doesn't look exactly like mine remember I'm just making I'm basically not even following the uh, reference that much um, so don't be too concerned about yours not looking exactly like it we just want to get a general uh, type of look here okay we to select this faces here. Uh, let me go to select, uh, grow selection. I'm going to press G so we can grow that more. Now I'm going to go to edit match extrude, use the blue handle. I'm going to move that up just a bit, not much. Okay. Oops. And now I'm going to do the select, but this time I'm going to shrink the selection. And now I'm going to the edit mesh and extrude. And move this one up just a bit. Finally, let's go back to the select and shrink selection. 
and do the extrusion one more time and just a little bit okay I'm going to go to my edge mode double click that one at the top and let's see scale that just slightly okay do the same with this one and the same with this one and now I can just go to press 3 and again I can just add those edge loops as you can see we get that and do the same with the uh, with the other ones again we're just repeating basically using the almost the exact same tools over and over Okay, so now that is our high polygon model. Uh, the thing that you have to make sure is that as you make uh, changes to the high poly, just make sure that overall stays uh, as far as the silhouette of the model is it stays relatively close to uh, the original shape, which in this case was this one. So as you can see, they're relatively close. We didn't make uh, huge changes as far as the silhouette. It's pretty much the same as the low poly one. So we're going to use the details of this model and transfer those to the low poly, which is this. So first we're going to go back to 1, to press 1. And this is what it looks in 1, but I want it to look uh, like it does in 3. Okay. So to do that, we have to uh, smooth the model. So if we go to Mesh Smooth, uh, just make sure your options look exactly like mine do, okay? So I'll lift this up for a second here so you can double check. Okay, let's apply that. Close. And now our model looks uh, like it did when we pressed 3, but this time it's in just 1 in mode number 1. So don't press 3, just look at it uh, by pressing 1. 